So guys, today is the day. Today I am going on a plane for the first time in five years. Um, <clears throat> a little bit nervous. Actually, I'm not, no. I am a little bit nervous, but I'm not super, super anxious about it, which is good. Um, I've just been to the shops and got lots of snacks for Lila because this will be her first ever time on a plane. Um, <laughs> so I'm not too sure what to expect with flying with her. Luckily, it's only like an hour and a half flight, so it's honestly not going to be you know, too bad. Although last night she randomly started throwing up at about one o'clock in the morning. So that was really good timing. I'm hoping that whatever it was has passed and she's not gonna chuck on the plane. She seems fine now. She doesn't have a fever or anything. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, but, I mean, yeah, great timing for that one. Um, my mum is gonna come here and we're gonna drive to the airport together. And then we're going to get on the plane, obviously, fly to Sydney. And then my sister is picking us up and taking us to um, the apartment that we're staying in where my dad is already there because he drove over yesterday or the day before? Yesterday, I think. Um, so, yeah, that way we'll have a car over there. And, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be really good. Here's the little lady. Hey, monkey. Are you excited to go on an airplane with mom? Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah. We're gonna see Davy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. By the way, I know my bed looks really dirty in the background, but that is because oh, no. last night she wiped tomato sauce all over my bed sheets. So, <sighs> what are you gonna do, right? I put a purple dress on and special shoes and a special crown. You do. You look beautiful. Hey, I better talk to my dummy now. Yeah. I've got a crown and special shoes and a dress. You do. And you look so pretty. She's watching Frozen at the moment for like the 18 millionth time.
day one. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Um, we've been awake for a while. Lila's been busting her butt to go out to the shops because we didn't have any breakfast in the apartment or any food really besides yogurt, so we're starving. Um, I went to the gym this morning, but Lila came with me so I didn't get much of a workout in, but that was okay. Hello. Does it echo? So we're about to go to the shopping center and get some um, breakfast. And I think it's only about 10 minutes drive away. I think we saw it on the way here, so it's not too far. So no nerves yet. Good morning, it is day two. Um, and I obviously haven't got any makeup or anything on yet. And also something's bitten me on the face in the middle of the night. Um, yeah, so anxiety, well not so much anxiety, but I guess overwhelm has definitely kicked in for me today. Um, Lila was up in the middle of the night throwing up again. And um, I'm a little bit tired from that. There she is. Um, and I'm also just tired from like, I think just everything, like going on the plane and then, um, you know, driving around a lot yesterday, going out to dinner and all that kind of stuff. Just, I think it's just kind of caught up with me a bit. Um, but I'm not tired in the sense that I've been having panic attacks and, you know, that could be super exhausting. I'm just tired because these are things that I wouldn't normally be doing, I guess. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind that, that's a pop gun. <laughs> um, so, I was supposed to go to my nephew's swimming lesson this morning. Um, I was going to take Lila there and we were all going to hang out. But I made the executive decision that I was just going to stay at the apartment and chill and meditate. Um, because I really was getting a lot of negative thoughts this morning and just feeling like I can't do this. Um, you know, I'm going to have to stay home all day today and I feel sick and, you know, just all those sort of like health anxiety sort of thoughts, which I guess I was a little bit annoyed that I was having those thoughts. So I kind of needed to just like ground myself and just be accepting that I'm going to have those thoughts because I've been doing, you know, a lot of anxiety provoking things and just kind of just really just chill just connect with myself and just chill so that's what I did and I'm feeling a lot better now so the party for my nephews this afternoon and we're probably gonna go there in a couple of hours after I get showered and dressed um, but yeah so in a way it was a little bit disappointing that um, you know sort of my health anxieties did catch up with me but then it's also I've got to remember that it's not surprising and you know I am still someone who suffers with anxiety and that's okay and it's okay to feel the way that I'm feeling right now and so sometimes you just need to accept that you're going to have a little bit of burnout and you need to make allowances for that. Hey so I am just at my sister's house for my nephew's party and oh my god on the way here I panicked. <laughs> Um, it was before we'd even left our apartment. I could feel it like ramping up and it just really started to overwhelm me. And I just, I had to just ride it through, which was probably the most difficult part. I started getting really quiet and, um, it was rough because I knew that the only thing that was going to make it stop was to just get through it and to just, you know, feel it, experience it, and then do the thing that I was afraid of. And the thing was, I wasn't even that nervous about coming here. It wasn't this that was scaring me, but it was just the idea of, um, I don't know. I don't think it was the idea of anything. I think it was maybe just the last couple of days just catching up with me. So I got in the back of the car to come here and um, I asked my dad to put the window down. And then I just put on a YouTube meditation video and just listened to that. And um, I'll link it down below if you guys want. And yeah, just breathed, just felt the panic, just let it do its thing. And then by the time we were like a minute away from my sister's house, I was fine. So yeah, but I, I guess, I don't know. It's good that I did have one experience on this trip so far of having a panic attack. Cause it would have been weird if I got through the whole trip with none. So yeah, not a horrible thing. Oh, hi friend. Hang on, let me explain. 
Oh, I don't know if he'll want you to talk to him, but, but you can try. Let me talk to him. All right. Name. You can try talk to him. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. That one's his name. It's his lizard. It's his Mama. Yeah. It's a lizard. It is a lizard. But where is he? I think he's gone home. So it's the final day of our trip. Um, we've just had a swim before. We oh, have to check out. We have to check out. Um, and then we're going to my sister's house because our flight's not until later tonight. So we're gonna go there and then we're gonna go out for lunch in Newport and then back to my sister's house again and then off to the airport. So we'll go back on a plane again today. And Lila's pretty ready to go home, so. Yeah, and I'm feeling a lot less anxious today than I was yesterday. <sighs> and there's a grumpy little girl behind me <laughs> isn't there she's just annoyed because we haven't gone to the shops yet I'm a bit disorganized this morning I'm still like unpacking everything and doing the washing and like getting everything organized um, but I just wanted to check in and talk about the trip a little bit I had such a good time with the trip and I'm still riding on the high of just the fact that I did it and I'm really proud of myself you know what I really didn't have bad anxiety for the whole time except for that one day where I had a panic attack um, before my nephew's birthday party but that was really the only time that I panicked really and had bad anxiety 
But the good thing was that I knew that my only option was to push through that because I was in Sydney. It's not like I could come home and just cancel everything. So I really knew that the only thing I could do was just to get through it, just to let my body go through the motions of panic while I went through the motions of going about my day. And then it went away. So you'd think by now I would have learned that lesson that, you know, a panic attack isn't going to hurt you and you just need to keep going. So I think I'm, I'm pretty close to cementing that in my brain. <laughs> the one thing that I kept doing, which I've been doing a lot of lately, um, is sort of taking a moment every now and then to really kind of soak it in. Like when we were in the car driving to the airport um, and we were stuck in traffic and, you know, I guess most people would be sitting there thinking, this is so annoying, um, you know, just being frustrated. But I was sitting there looking at the sky, looking around myself and just thinking about how amazing it is that I am here now instead of where I was a couple of years ago. Sorry, that's popping up. And it was just a really helpful thing to every now and then just to sort of take a moment to kind of take stock of everything and just realize how, um, how proud of myself I am because I think that's something that we forget to do when you know you do an exposure session or you know you you do something that sort of is out of your comfort zone we forget to do that and we forget to not only be proud of ourselves but we forget to really just be mindful in the moment and take it all in especially because you know a, a year or two years ago I was so busy being busy in my head the whole time like am I gonna get through this what's happening next where are we going what are we doing you know just like constantly trying to travel forward in time and think about what was gonna happen instead of just sitting there in the moment and being like you know what right now everything is okay and I am happy so I've been doing a lot of that lately when I went to my best friend's wedding recently I did that many times during the day and it's just made me feel really fortunate and really lucky. So I think that if you are somebody who suffers with an anxiety disorder and, you know, you are doing exposure sessions and things like that, make sure that you take the time every now and then to just really get still and get quiet and just think like, here I am. I know that sounds really cheesy, but do you know what I mean? Like just to acknowledge where you are and stop the mental chatter and just really just soak up what you're doing in that moment and you know that's something that I heard in the very beginning and I knew it was something that I should be doing but it's something that took me a long time to get in the habit of doing but now I'm in the habit and I seem to be doing it all the time and it's really helpful so start you know consciously reminding yourself to do it and eventually it'll be something that you just do uh, but that's all I really wanted to say if you guys want me to do a video on my top travel tips with anxiety now that I've actually traveled somewhere I feel like I could maybe contribute something with a video like that um, so if you want me to do that let me know and as always if there's any other videos that you want to see please comment below and I will do my best hope you're all doing really really well and I hope you enjoyed my Sydney vlog oh yeah and just tiny disclaimer you may have noticed that Lila is wearing the same dress in like 90% of the footage. I do dress my child in different outfits, but she is just hell bent on wearing that same dress every day. And you know, you just got to pick your battles. Like I'm like, girl, if you want to wear that dress every day, you can wear that dress every day. You do you Lila. You do you. Oh, oh. No, but I